Hey Marshall, this is uh, Matt Nassau, uh, 2 Echo Zero Mike Tango Tango. Just uh, looking at the calibration on my uh, DD1 digital dial. Uh, first off, the kit is fantastic. The the quality of the components and the the fact that it's working out of the box, uh, I'm really pleased with it. You know, big thumbs up for me. Um, however, I'm just playing with the uh, the frequency here. I've got a simple uh, 80 meter uh, VFO. It's a little thing I built part of my license. Uh, conditions roughly three and a half to three point eight megahertz. Uh, I'm just tapping into that and looking at uh, the the frequency on the dial, and you can see that the uh, well, it's a little obviously a little uh, hand capacitive. A little, it's not a very good obviously it's not a very good uh, circuit, but it serves the purpose for the for the for testing the uh, the DD one's output. Uh, you can see that the top. Uh, LED there uh, is missing uh, illumination to make uh, the number three, uh, but you can see the other ones look to be pretty good. And if I start just slowly increasing that dial, uh, you can see uh, well, a bit quickly. You can see that pretty much everything else, all the other dials, look to be pretty good, showing numbers. Uh, yeah, if we keep going up, five, six, seven, they all light up. Uh, let's say the three is not. There is another digit here which doesn't seem to work. Now this this six here uh, in the hundreds uh, hundred thousand kilohertz section, uh, you can see the top bar is working. I mean, if I go down to five, four, uh, well, I can't quite get to four, but uh, you can see the digits there: five, six work. Now when we get to seven, we lose again that top bar. So the two top bars here don't seem to be illuminating. Now they they are I think this they are working clearly. If I go up to eight, you can see eight appears again. So that LED is working. I suspect it's probably working on this on this digit here as well. But for some reason the information is not coming out to to illuminate that. Uh, and I think this goes up to about eight and a half or so. Oh, 8.7. So um, the digits are working, uh, except for a couple, uh, you know, a three here and the f and the seven here, and I suspect that's again information coming from the the board to light the LED. The LED itself is functioning as we can as we can see if we go down to six and five and so forth. And I'm wondering if you've seen that before. Uh, maybe you got an idea of what that could be. Um, as I say, they, the, the components went together really well. Uh, the instructions were very clear. Uh, I think my, my soldering is not, you know, pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I'm just not uh, too sure about why some digit information is not reaching the LED. If you could uh, maybe have a look at this video and uh, give me an idea of what you think it could be, uh, and I'll try to work it out and uh, hopefully uh, get it back up and running. So many thanks for the kit. It's fantastic. Uh, and uh, as is the, uh, the the watt meter that I bought from you and uh, the dummy load as well in that box over there I still have yet to build the uh, the 100h uh, uh, the 100 h sorry the uh, the transceiver uh, for 20 meters so uh, I'll say goodbye from here and uh, look forward to speaking to you about this uh, in hopefully the coming days or weeks take care bye bye